Hey friends, this is Phil Robertson. I'm in Cranford Country Park Estate, just say two kilometres outside of London's Heathrow Airport. So what does it take to become a digital marketer? I reckon it takes planning, it takes purpose, it takes a why. What is the thing that drives you? What is your passion? And I reckon, at the end of the day, as I've often said, if you don't have a why, then there's no point in jumping in. But if you do have something that drives you, something in your gut that's really important to you, that really, really, I guess, you know what, makes you think, I want to get out of bed early. And it gets you up and about. And that might be your kids. It might be your grandkids. It might be you want to retire your spouse. These are all important things. It might be you want to travel. You might want to have nice cars. You might just want to get out of debt. So at the end of the day, as I often say, you've got to have a why, you've got to have a purpose. And if you've got a purpose and a vision, then you know what? You've got the attributes to be a digital marketer. Being a digital marketer takes discipline. It's not easy, but it takes resilience, but it takes passion and commitment, and it takes the ability to be open-minded and to want to learn. And so what I've been doing is I've been spending time in San Diego last week at the Traffic and Conversion Summit. I'm here now at London Sheraton Skyline with some of the best digital marketers in the world for a two-day marketing conference. And tomorrow I'm off to Amsterdam for a little holiday. So folks, they're the things, some of the great attributes of why, why, why. If you have a why, then you potentially could be a fantastic digital marketer.